Okay, I'm gonna go out and try this once again. I went out before, but the 360 cam wasn't on record, so I wanna try this 360 cam while I'm controlling and flying the quadcopter to see if that provides a good view for my viewers to watch me when I'm flying. It's not only will we have the quadcopter view recording, but we'll also have a 360 view from my head band. I've got a headband uh, with the LG 360 camera strapped to it. <clears throat> so, here we go again. And it's telling me to calibrate Compass 1. I've got the Hupson 501S. In case you couldn't tell. Compass 2 now. And that'll do it. Well, we got to make sure we have our satellites on both the quadcopter and our controller here. We've got our return to home switch down. In case we need it, we'll just switch it up. And our GPS switch is on, it's flipped up, and we're showing active 12 satellites on both. So we'll go ahead, hit our record button on the quadcopter first, so I don't forget, and start the engines. <clears throat> it's a little breezy out here, you can tell by the water blowing towards the house here. We'll take it up. We got one engine that's out. It's not good. Why do we have one engine out? Did we already burn up an engine? It's spinning freely. Let's try to start them again. Yep. I don't know if you see that, but we do have an engine out. That is disappointing. Very disappointing. Let's try it again. Yep, see one's not going. It's got a new battery in there too, I wonder. That has something to do with it. I'm going to try to unplug the battery and plug it back in. Let's see. So I've unplugged the battery. this up again I mean, maybe the calibration didn't take I, I don't know let's just start over again do a calibration and see well it's not even asking for calibration now we've got the satellites really acting strange because the I got the GPS switch up and I was saying altitude hold maybe we have to do our compass now it's asking for the compass calibration
Operation 2 this way. And we've got it. Now it's on GPS hold lock. It was recording. So let's see if I hit record again. Okay, they started up this time. I don't know what happened. Maybe a bad connection, loose connection with the battery. Let's try taking it up. I'm gonna have to be careful with it this time. It's kind of concerned why one engine wasn't working. Let's see if I can get this quadcopter over here and we can take a look at my uh, my LG 360 that should be recording this time. Here's my LG 360 cam. Yeah, the wind is really picking up on this time out. Take it for a flight up over the house. Now I'm not sure how this 360 camera will work with me, uh, you know, looking up and looking down, watching my controller and the copter, because I have to tilt my head. Unlike you guys, you should be able to just turn your screen. So it's going pretty smooth and we've got a brisk constant wind of at least six miles an hour maybe seven miles an hour right now I just kind of hover it there to see if you can see me yeah you should be able to see me now Bring it down here a bit. And let's take a look at the boat. We got a pedal boat a few months ago. We got it turned up on its side because we had some rain the other day. Try to keep some of the rain out. We'll see how this camera works against the sun on this quadcopter. Probably not getting a very good view right now because you're getting blasted by the sun. That's a little after 6 p.m. here in Tampa, Florida. Go to the neighbor's house, three doors down. I'll bring it back. Neighbor's got a boat too, just like ours. They've got theirs upside down. That's just what you gotta do. If you get it filled with water, it's hard to tilt those over to drain the water out, to get all that water out. Are my doggies out here? They're not out here right now. It's too hot for them. They followed me out here, but they went right back in, I guess. I hear some thunder in the distance. 
Now let's see if I can land this thing on my new pad. I put a new landing pad for my quadcopters right here. I'll take you down to see that right there. It's a composite pad. It's lightweight. And they shipped it to me. It's three foot by three foot. And see if we can get a smooth landing here. wind gust here we got a little bit of wind gust good job we got it hopefully you saw that on the 360 cam turn the engines off stop the copter record and that's a wrap there I'm gonna take it in and see how it looks and I'll post it to you guys if it looks all right. That was strange how one motor, one of the engines didn't start up. Makes me suspect the new battery maybe. It's the first time I tried this battery. Just received it today, charged it up. So I'm not sure what caused that. One right front motor uh, to not power up but hopefully that was just a one-time thing because it seemed to fly all right take you in the back entrance here all right Whew, nice and cool in here Okay, we'll get to the office here where I'm going to go ahead and download these videos and then upload them, hopefully. So, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.